Hello everybody, I am going to do my declutter of my highlighters today. So highlighters are over here, all of these, this, these, not that one, these, liquid, I have a bunch in the front here, I have a bunch of samples here, I have ColourPop, I have YSL, Laura Mercier, I have tons of highlighters here. So I am going to go through them today, and even though I know I'm not going to get rid of many or any, I don't think I'm going to get rid of any at all. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm going to see and at least go through them and reorganize them so that they will all fit in this drawer. And then I will do face powders after. So let's get on to these highlighters. Okay guys, so this is my total highlighter collection here and I just want to get going through it. I have tons of them and I'm not sure what I want to get rid of, what I want to keep. I know a few items right off the bat I'm going to get rid of and a few items right off the bat that I know I'm going to keep, so let's do that. So the first thing I'm definitely going to get rid of is this highlighting palette from Wet n Wild. It's the Illuminating Palette. And it is in the shade, oh, it's just Illuminating Palette. I got this very early on um, in my makeup collection, and I just don't love this. So I am going to get rid of it before it gets any nastier looking. There's totally, like, stuff all over it, and I dug my finger in at one point there, too. So I am going to declutter this and let this go. The next item I know I'm going to get rid of is this Temp2 by BoxyCharm, and it's the Liquid Glow. I used this a couple times, like, um, mixing in with my foundation, and I just, I don't love this. I don't really like liquid foundation very often, and I have other items, like the Becca one, that I mix in with my foundation that I like more, so I'm going to let this one go. Then I have an item that I haven't used very often. It's by Hard Candy and it is in the shade Tiki. And it's actually a baked bronzer, but I use it as a highlighter. I know a lot of other people do as well. It's a very like natural highlighter on my skin tone. I know if you're lighter than me, it's a lot more of a vibrant highlighter, but for me it's just like a really just neutral, like very light type of highlighter. Sorry, I have other lipstick shades that will not come off my finger there but yeah I'm gonna keep it around and probably put it in a project pan this year to see if I'm loving it or if I can get rid of it so my no-go pile is gonna be over here and then my yes pile is gonna be up at the top so two more items that I'm definitely gonna keep are these two ColourPop highlighters and this one is in the shade Bougie Call, and this one is in the shade Here Kitty Kitty. I'm going to take these out of the boxes and put the stickers on the back so that I can remember which ones these are. But yeah, I'm going to definitely keep both of these. So this one is from IBY Beauty, and it came in a um, Ipsy, I believe, and it's just a very pink-toned highlighter. Um, not really my shade at all. I'm not good <laughs> with pink tone highlighters on my skin, so I'm going to let this one go. So the next item here I have is this e.l.f. Um, illuminating palette and this one's practically brand new I pretty much only swatched it and I think I'm gonna let this one go I just don't ever reach for it I don't ever use it It was actually in the back of my drawer I completely forgot I even had it so I'm gonna let this one go one item I am gonna keep is this ColourPop highlighter in Dreamcatcher and I used this in my last project pan last year it's still so creamy so beautiful I love this one for a natural makeup day and I'm definitely gonna keep this one Another one I know for a fact I'm definitely keeping is this YSL highlighter. I got this during the um, 21 Days of Beauty sale from Sephora, and I love this highlighter. It's so beautiful, so natural on the cheeks. It doesn't cling to dry spots at all. Such a beautiful highlighter. Definitely keeping this, and I just love it in this little container, this little case, too. I just think that looks so good. And bougie, you know, bougie bouge. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to keep that for sure. Another one I know for sure I'm keeping is the Laura Mercier, and it is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01, and this one's perfect. Like, 
anytime I want my highlighter to just look beautiful like just the most natural beautiful it can possibly look this is the highlighter i use if you guys haven't picked this up you totally should i bought this on a whim one time and i'm so happy i did because it is a beautiful highlighter definitely keeping that another highlighter i know i'm keeping is by Lorac, and it is starlight and i love this highlighter it's so beautiful like it's just perfect for the skin it's very golden champagne toned but it looks perfect on my skin i love this like this this is the same as the other two it doesn't cling to dry spots and it just looks very good on the skin so i'm gonna keep this one so this is from dirty little secret and it's a baked highlighter i have swatched this many times and yeah it's i forgot how pink it is yeah it's like a totally like completely pink highlighter i'm gonna let this one go it's very soft though and i feel like it would look great on other skin tones and when you rub it in it's not as pink but just pink highlighters on me just accentuate my redness and it looks terrible so i'm gonna let that one go don't you hate it when your lipstick swatches do not come off your hand even when you scrub your hand yeah i hate it okay so i found a few more highlighters in my drawer this one i'm definitely keeping it is the butter blush in natural glow i use this one as a base highlighter pretty much every day i love it it's so beautiful it has no pink tone whatsoever to it in my opinion at least on my skin and it smells delicious and i love this for my base highlighter it's so natural looks great all the time love it the next one i'm going to keep is also by physicians formula and it is the powder palette mineral glow pearls in light bronze pearl so i know a lot of people buy the translucent one but i just knew that one would be a little bit too washed out looking for me oh so i got the light bronze pearl and i think it's a little bit too orange for me but when i use a really really light hand with it it looks great so i am definitely going to keep this one as a very natural looking highlight so one that i'm not really sure yet is this wet and wild and it is called boozy brunch and i don't know i loved this one when i first got it it's a very yellow tone highlight but i'm not i just haven't reached for it I don't know that is beautiful though i'm gonna keep this and put it in a project pan and try to use it and see if i like it one that i'm definitely gonna keep this is urban decay sin i love this little sample beautiful i plan on using this up at some point hopefully during this year in my sample project pan so i love this one urban decay sin beautiful i want a full size of that one that i also want to put in a project pan is this benefit dandelion twinkle um i haven't like been in love with this since i got it it's right here on my ring finger and it's just like not i don't know it's it doesn't give me everything that i want but i also have been switching up my brushes lately and the more i switch them up the more i find different brushes for different products so i'm gonna put this same thing in a project pan at some point this year and try to use this and see if I really like it or if I can get rid of it. So this is one that actually was recommended by Jessica Braun from Jam Beauty 89. I think her actual name is Jessica Braun now. But this is the Pixie Beauty Blush Duo in Peach Honey. And I don't like the... Oh my god, I can never get this open. So I don't ever use the pink side. I just don't like that kind of highlight. And I know this is like a blush duo, but there's no way that this is a blush. Like, that's a legit highlight right there. Let me get a little bit better swatch. So I haven't loved this one. I do like it. Um, I want to use it a little bit more. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm pretty, I don't know. I like Pixie. I like the brand. I like what they stand for. I like the fact that they're cruelty free. So I'm going to keep this and try to use it a bit more. Same with this one. This one is the collab with um, Aspen Novard. And this is in the shade Santorini Sunset. There was one that was lighter than that, like London Luster or something, but that one was way too white toned for me. This one's more of the champagne tone, better for my skin tone. I have more of a light to medium skin tone, so I figured this one would work better, and I do really, really like this. It was actually in one of my favorites videos in 2017, so I'm gonna keep this one. One that I'm definitely gonna keep is from Becca. This is Champagne Pop, obviously. Beautiful, beautiful. This was the collab with Jaclyn Hill keeping this one obviously i'm gonna keep my two ofra highlighters as well this one is in rodeo drive this one is in beverly hills 
These are beautiful. They don't get enough love in my collection. I would like to give them some more and I'm going to use these. So one that I am going to get rid of is this loose powder um, highlighter from Mica Beauty Cosmetics. This is in the shade Highlight 03. I had this in my everyday makeup drawer for this month to use and try to see if I liked it. It is such a beautiful, beautiful shimmery highlight. It's right there on my hand, but it is no good to me when I don't use it one time in the entire month. So I'm going to get rid of this. This is my Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals. This is such a beautiful highlight. Like I cannot handle how beautiful they made this highlight. Here it is on my ring finger and it's just, it's amazing. It's a perfect tone for me. I love it. So definitely keeping this one. Then I have two Becca minis. This one is in the, this mini is in the shade Moonstone. Love that one. So beautiful. It's a very light toned highlight. A little bit lighter than my skin, but it works perfect in the winter time. And this one's in the shade Opal. Love this one as well. This one's better for the winter, for the, sorry, this one's better for the winter time when I'm lighter. This one's better for the summertime when I'm darker. I love both of these and not getting rid of these. Another mini I am not willing to part with is the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Highlighter in the shade Gilded Honey. Beautiful gold, gold, gold tone highlight. I love this one. It's very, very deep and rich for my skin tone in the winter time, but in the summertime, I love this highlight. And this one's perfect to layer on top of like these more natural toned highlighters too. This really great. Love that one. This is one that I recently picked up again, and it is the e.l.f. in, what is it, Moonlit Pearls. And I haven't scraped off the top layer yet, but, I mean, it looks pretty darn good for not scraping off the top layer yet. So there it is there. I'm going to give this another try. I had this previously in my collection, but I got rid of it before knowing the first layer scrape off thing. So I'm going to try this out again and see if I like it. These two... Oh no, these two Tarte highlighters, I'm definitely keeping them both. This one is in Exposed, and it is obviously a highlight, so beautiful. And this one is in Stunner, this is like a little sample of Stunner. I love these both, I definitely use these, and yeah, I'm excited. I haven't used this Stunner, I think I have a different one that I was using, but I love this Exposed one. So definitely keeping both of these, and Tarte is cruelty free, which makes me feel better about using it. This is Vintage by Jess Jessica Liebeskind. I think that's how you pronounce her name. This one's so hard to open. So this one's also a pink toned highlighter, but it doesn't come off pink toned um, on my skin for some reason, which is nice. So there it is there. I mean, it definitely looks pink in the swatch, but when I use it with a brush, it doesn't look as pink. So, and I didn't keep any other pink toned highlighters, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. One that I'm not sure of is this highlight from Too Faced. It is the Candlelight Glow in Rosy Glow. And I don't know, I've swatched this quite a few times and I just haven't been in love with it, but it's so nice. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna put this in a project pan once again and try it out and see if I like it enough to keep it or if I should just pass it on. Gosh, I have a lot to try out. <laughs> so the rest of these are here. Let's just finish up these. Once again, these are all the ones that I'm getting rid of are here and all the ones that I'm keeping are up top. I knew I wouldn't get rid of many, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good. So this Milani is one of the newest highlights to my collection and it is the Strobe Light in Daylight, or in, I'm sorry, in Day Glow, and it's in the shade two. I think there's a 01 and a 03. I love this one. I've used it quite a few times, even though it doesn't look like it at all. But just the brush that I use is very light at picking them up, so definitely keeping that. Then I have the Cult Classic Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I love this one. This one's not going anywhere. Keeping that. Then I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight 10. And they said that they were going to discontinue this and they haven't since, but I've been trying not to use it as much so that it doesn't, like if it does get discontinued that I won't be so sad, but this is the most natural, beautiful highlight ever. Literally, it looks good on light skin tones, it looks good on dark skin tones, it doesn't dry, it doesn't catch on to dry patches, it's so natural looking. Love, love this highlight. 
This is another highlight in Stunner. This is the full size. I'm going to keep this for now. I'm going to use this little sample and see if I, if I use up the sample, I'll keep this. And then if I don't use much of this sample at all this year, I'm going to get rid of this full size. This is my Jouer highlighter in the shade Citrine. Love this. This was a recent purchase at the end of the year in 2017. This is such a beautiful highlight. Like everybody recommends this highlight and it was sold out forever, which was the most annoying thing. But when it finally came up, I purchased it and I love it. And I see why everybody else loves it too. So keeping this UA highlighter. Then I have this Wet n Wild color icon. I think this is technically a bronzer, but it's so light that it actually comes off as a highlighter for me. So it says it is in the shade Reserve Your Cabana and I've used it as a highlighter. So I kind of actually purchased it as an all over face setting powder, but it looked like a highlighter on me. So let me show you it there. It's like a beautiful, stunning light highlighter and it looks good because it doesn't have like a sparkle to it. It just has a light tone. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm probably going to bring this to Florida with me because I think it'll look good in the Florida sun without having like glittery tone to it like most highlighters do. I really do like this. And the very last product that I have here is this Artist Couture highlight. What shade is this in? Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. And I got this from BoxyCharm in 2017, and I really haven't used this, but I think this will be a really good body highlighter, because it is a loose powder. I don't really use loose powders very often, but when I want a body highlighter, I don't have any other loose powders. The only other one I had was this Mica Beauty, and I'm going to get rid of that. But I think I'm going to keep this um, one that I got from BoxyCharm and use it as a body highlighter like for my shoulders and stuff in the summertime and if I don't use this over the summer I'm going to get rid of it at the end of the year so we're going to try that out. Basically I kind of knew this was how it was going to go. I only got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six products and I kept the rest but I do feel better about it and now I can organize my collection a little bit better having a few less products so yeah I'm going to put all these back and then I will show you how my drawer looks once I'm done. So here's a look at the highlighters all put away in my drawer. So much better, all organized, good to go. I have ones that I need to use up here as samples in the front and then I plan on getting to all the larger ones and I plan on doing like an everyday makeup drawer so that I can pull in different items that I wanna test out and see if it's worth keeping. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stick around for more declutters and more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.